Um, the last bit we're going to go over is using project boards. Um, so this is another feature that is within your GitHub repository. So what are these project boards? So they are um, like the picture here. You would create um, to-do lists. You would create planning documents for your projects. So you can actually use project boards within GitHub as a project management tool. And as I said, you can do um, these Kanban boards, which is what this picture is on the side here, to do, doing and done kind of lists. Um, it helps you to collaborate with your team. So you can actually keep track of your project, which is the next point here. And you can actually use it as a, as a team to create tick lists and lists of tasks and things that you've done. Um, and you can all, if you're all working sort of asynchronously in a distributed team, like we often work all in different places with different, different people in different institutions, it's a central place where you've got all of this infant planning information and you can look at the progress of that happening. The other thing that it's also starting to be used by, by certain institutions, is to actually measure the progress of projects. So I do actually. Um, make um, reports now, <laughs> which I hate making, but I make them um, about the progress of the repositories that I manage. And it shows you like how many, uh, how many issues have been created, how many pull requests, how many commits have happened in a certain time period. And it sort of shows you the progress of projects from the initial start to the completion. So it's kind of a way of measuring metrics so having metrics for your particular projects which i have to say i don't like metrics very much but this is another way of creating those sorts of metrics for progress so where do you actually do it um so in your github repository um it's again in the gray um, banner at the top of the repository it's one of these sort of action buttons at the top and it's called projects and you click on that then this brings you to um, this page, projects page. So um, when you first do it, there wouldn't be this bit here because you wouldn't have any open ones. It would be a page that said, um, create a new project um, with a big green button in the middle, I think. Um, with um, GitHub now, um, the original GitHub um, project boards were Kanban boards. So they were, um, I'm gonna show you them, they are, like to-do list done uh, in progress and done. So, and you can move your tasks along the Kanban board like you would um, in other, other project management sort of um, applications. Um, but they're now trialing this beta version um, of um, project boards, which are more like spreadsheets. And um, you can, I've started to use these a little bit, but I have to say I don't really like them that much, but it's it's a preference thing, whether you like spreadsheets or whether you like Kanban boards. So you can actually set up either now. Um, the only um, sort of caveat I'd put is beta, because it's called beta, it's, it's actually still something that's in development on GitHub. So there are some features that might not work very well because it's, it's a sort of bit of software that's in development, but they've released it so that people can start to use it and give them feedback on it. So, um, so what you do is you just create a new project. If you want to create a new project, and this is what it looks like. So it creates a Kanban board for you. And basically what you do, so last time we went over issues. So you use issues and those are brought into your Kanban board. So within the issues tab, you can set up, um, so when you fill in your issues form, you can set up milestones. So for a project, you might have four different milestones. They might be your different work packages within your project. Um, so we have got different ones within, this is our Fair Five Live project. So we have different milestones. So you can see those here on issues. So we've got community building and training. We've got our fair assessment. We've got the development of the fair guidelines and another one building infrastructure. So we've got like four different milestones. And then under each of those milestones, we've got um, several different issues. So those are the different bigger tasks that need to be done. And then within each of those issues, we put a list of tasks that needs to happen. So it's like a tick list of you to go through. So you can actually tick off these. So you can see here, we've got GitHub training, 
there are three tasks um, and well, no, three tasks have been done, um, but it's still open that one. Um, this one here, we've got it. So these ones haven't actually been started. This one has been started. I don't know why it's over there. Um, but things like um, the fair assessment, it's got 17 tasks. We've done 10 of them have been ticked off. So it's something that's in progress. But then these ones on this side are the things that we've finished. So we've finished our community survey. Um, we've finished this setting up the committee and this data collection methodology. So all these things have been finished. So in a sense, we're moving from the left hand side to the right hand side of the board to show ourselves the progress, but also if we need to do some reporting to our organization, we can use the sort of metrics around this board and you can actually gather this information um, using this insights bit at the top here. And it can actually give you the metrics for uh, the progress of your project. Um, what you can also do is you can actually create automation within here. So you can actually, because everything in GitHub is given a number. So commits are given numbers, issues are given numbers, and pull requests are given numbers. So by sort of tagging in these numbers within uh, issues and pull requests, when you close pull requests, it can actually automatically close these uh, issues on your Kanban board or it can move them across actually you can automate that I have to say I don't use that um, because I found it quite fiddly to set up so I just you do that quite manually but either way it's obviously whatever suits you really um, so oh I didn't realize I've done this but anyway so just to look at this in a bit more detail so in the issues tab you've got your milestones and you can set these up so these are our four milestones you can see that we've made quite a bit of progress. Um, I did update this, Celine, because last time I looked, it said zero. And then I realized I hadn't updated the issues. So I've updated everything now. So it looks like we've actually made some progress, which is really good. <laughs> um, so and then obviously you've got the different issues under these. You can also put timelines as well. I haven't added that, but you can put due dates, things like that to really keep on a really strict timeline if you want to do that. Um, and then within the issue, so um, when you come into the issues, you can create a new issue. Um, and um, what that does is it brings you to a form that you can start to fill in. And as you can see here, this is one of our, uh, this is our doing our fair assessment. We've got all of these different tasks, which we've made into little tick lists. And then this is just the process of us doing the work. And then once we do it, we give it a little tick. And then it gives you the progress. So we know that we've got so many tasks to do, 17 tasks, and we've done 10. So it just uh, gives you a real, keeps track of what it is. On the right hand side, you can assign it to particular people. So I just assign them all to myself because I'm keeping track. It's my job to keep track of how we're doing in the project. So if you're the uh, project lead or the project manager, it's good to assign it to yourself. You can give it labels um, to maybe um uh because you can sort by the different labels so it could be things like um work in progress or um things to do with data you can make up the labels yourself it doesn't have to be the ones that are on there you can link it to the project and also you link it to the milestone there as well um, um so the other this is this is what the other version looks like the project tables or spreadsheets um and i've just got this off a blog that someone written about it so it's not not within our or my repositories or our project repositories so you can see it's just a slightly different way of doing things it, these are the issues here that are open you can put um you can actually add lots of different row uh, columns into it but this is the status of it so this has got dates on it, you can put dates, and these are the labels that I was talking about. So you can group things by labels and sort it and that sort of thing. What you can do is actually convert from one system to the other if you want to, because it's all based on milestones and issues. So basically they convert into Kanban boards, all these spreadsheets. So it's really whichever, whichever takes your fancy, whichever one you, you find most useful. 